from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 11th, 2024. South Africa presented its case against Israel at the International Court of Justice in The Hague today, alleging that Israel has genocidal intent in Gaza and calling on the ICJ to impose measures for Israel to stop all military actions in Gaza. An eight-member South African legal team accused Israel of exterminating Palestinians and claimed Gaza was a concentration camp. The legal team made no mention of Hamas's massacre on October the 7th, nor of how Hamas uses its civilians as human shields. Israel's foreign ministry called what is happening at the ICJ a perversion of the word justice, saying today we witnessed one of the greatest shows of hypocrisy in history, compounded by a series of false and baseless claims. South Africa, which is functioning as the legal arm of the Hamas terrorist organization, utterly distorted the reality in Gaza following the October 7th massacre and completely ignored the fact that Hamas terrorists infiltrated Israel, murdered, executed, massacred, raped, and abducted Israeli citizens simply because they were Israelis. And that 136 Israeli hostages are still being held by Hamas in Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu slammed the hypocrisy of South Africa's claim, saying today again, we saw an upside down world in which the state of Israel is accused of genocide at a time when it is fighting genocide. A terrorist organization carried out the worst crime against the Jewish people since the Holocaust, and now someone comes to defend it in the name of the Holocaust. What brazen gall, Netanyahu said, the world is upside down. Vowing we will continue to fight the terrorists, we will continue to refute the lies. The Prime Minister yesterday also weighed in on Israel's war in Gaza in a video message clarifying, he said, Israel's aims in the operation. I want to make a few points absolutely clear. Israel has no intention of permanently occupying Gaza or displacing its civilian population. Israel is fighting Hamas terrorists, not the Palestinian population. And we are doing so in full compliance with international law. The IDF is doing its utmost to minimize civilian casualties, while Hamas is doing its utmost to maximize them. Our goal is to rid Gaza of Hamas terrorists and free our hostages. Once this is achieved, Gaza can be demilitarized and de-radicalized, thereby creating a possibility for a better future for Israel and Palestinians alike. Well, as we reported to you yesterday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken had called the accusations against Israel by South Africa meritless. And the U.S. State Department further said yesterday that allegations that Israel is committing genocide are unfounded, saying, in fact, it is those who are violently attacking Israel who continue to openly call for the annihilation of Israel and the mass murder of Jews. Israel has the right to defend itself against Hamas's terrorist acts, acts that Hamas has vowed to repeat again and again until Israel is completely destroyed. And Jewish organizations weighed in as well. The Anti-Defamation League said of Israel's accusers at the ICJ, it is shocking that these entities need reminding that it's Hamas whose October 7th massacre intended to kill as many Jews as possible and whose founding charter is replete with calls for anti-Semitic violence, which must be held accountable for its genocidal behavior, not Israel. The session at the ICJ continues tomorrow when Israel will make its case at the court. Ten rockets were fired from Lebanese territory at northern Israel today. Three of them, according to the IDF, were intercepted. The IDF said it responded at the source of the fire, also saying earlier that it attacked a series of targets of the Hezbollah terrorist organization in Lebanese territory. The IDF also shared yesterday video of an underground tunnel exposed by Israeli troops in Gaza, confirmed to have held Israeli hostages and vowing we will continue fighting to bring them home. And tomorrow, Friday morning, across from the United Nations, a number of Jewish organizations are gathering in New York City to mark the approaching 100-day mark 
since the October 7th massacre and since the hostages were taken captive to demand the immediate release of all remaining hostages now. And today, relatives of hostages gathered at Israel's border with Gaza using massive loudspeakers to shout messages to their loved ones, praying they hear them, encouraging them not to lose hope. We shall bring you home. Bring them home now. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, January the 11th at 7 o'clock, a look at Israeli identity from the Hartman Institute. At 8, an evening honoring pro-Israel activism. At 9, Rabbi Shlomo Riskin is on L'Chaim. At 10, the Israel Philharmonic plays a hope-filled concert. And coming up next, Shahar Azani speaks with Sarit Zahavi about attacks on Israel's northern border. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, January the 11th, 2024. I'm Tisha Bader. I'm Yisrael Chai.